What's up YouTube and Facebook? Blue Dooley, working on the CXT again today. And it finally drives. I spent more time fudging with that than I did actually working on what I was wanting to work on today. You probably can't see, but the bed isn't mounted still. I, I've been busy at work and I just haven't gotten that far. And then I thought, you know what? I should try to get it running today. It's kind of a Merry Christmas to me. This project's been going on now for eight, nine years at least. So it's finally, it's nice to get it running again. Today I did do a little cardboard aided design on a bumper idea. Not entirely sold if I'm going to have the uh, protection for the headlights or the grill guard at all. This is just a uh, poster board and well scotch tape i kind of i set the body on a piece of board and sort of traced around the uh, front here left myself an f-core board it's not all taped together this is just one big piece that i've folded get it on the truck here and it'll sit something like that. Get the camera around here so you can see it from the front. Yeah, not the bars won't be that thick, or the uh, over the headlights, and the ones here in the middle might be a little bigger. And then I kind of rounded this edge a little bit, just kind of playing with some ideas. But it does fit right up to that fender flare on both sides pretty nicely. This one I kind of left it square like a big old ranch hand. I did have it angle up a little bit. And then on the other side I was thinking round it off and keep the flat bottom of the bumper flat. Or I might put the stock bumper back on. But yeah, you don't... You don't need a lot of fancy tools to do some of your own fabrication work. I mean, I could have made this out of the 12-pack uh, boxes if I'd remembered to keep one, but when Recycle Day came around earlier uh, last week, I threw them in the recycle bin, so I didn't have any to make this. I did have some poster board lying around. In fact, the truck's actually sitting on another piece. But you just, you know, if you make a mistake, you can tape it back together or throw it away and start anew, and it's a lot cheaper than trying to do it out of metal the first time. If you don't have a real good idea what you want, you know, kind of flush it out in some cardboard or poster board, and then that'll also give you measurements of how much material you'll need to build whatever you want to build. This, I mean, you could build a body like this, you know, just cut out pieces, tape together, and there you go. Or bumper, chassis, suspension, anything you can draw out. And then you know you can kind of see how much material you'll need if you want to, say, make like a flat chassis plate out of aluminum. You can make a few out of cardboard or poster board and get your mistakes made out, you know, on cheap material. And then once you have one you like, you can use it as a template for your flat stock that you make the chassis or the bumper out of. And uh, yeah, save yourself a little time and headache. You know, you don't need, again, you don't need much more than a straight edge like a ruler, some scissors, tape, and a pencil. I mean, and you're, you can design whatever you want. But what I really know what everybody wants to see is the truck driving. I was, I'm expletive excited about it running. I'm, it's so good to see it finally moving under its own power. The 45 turn motor going through the Traxxas transmission to the HBI has its maximum speed about my walking speed, which is kind of where I want it after I get the second motor in the truck and then running two batteries. I'll, it should have plenty of pulling power, I'll, I'll tell you that. I, I hey, you don't need to growl at everything. You don't.
Smell the camera. Hi, <laughs> fighty butt. Hi, fighty butt. Come over here. You're fine, fuzzy butt. You're fine, fuzzy butt. Finally runs. Finally runs after eight years or better. It's finally drivable. Granted, there's only one motor in it right now, and it needs a second motor. However, I'm pretty happy with the speed. The torque should be good from both of the motors at that. That was max speed, so I could gear it a little higher. 45 turn motor and uh, whatever pinion and the uh, Emacs transmission came with. I don't remember what it was off the top of my head. I put the 61 tooth spur gear in it, I want to say. So, super freaking pumped to finally get this truck driving. The steering servo I have isn't a high torque. It's just a cheapy Futaba and struggles even on pavement to turn them big wheels. Need to button up a lot of stuff but it finally drives under its own power i'm super damn excited about that finally so please smash that like button and we'll catch you in the next video